boys and girls. Well, as you heard from Mrs. Clapp, who was reading the story in your previous video, we're going to make a shadow book. And I can see the title says, My Shadow Book. Down here is where I'm going to put my name so that people know this is my work filled out in this book. And as I open it, I can see that there are words missing on some pages and I'm going to need to fill those words out. Lucky for me, I have a word bank and the word bank has the word shadow, object, close, far. Shadow, object, close, far. I'm going to need those words to help me fill in the blanks on my book. In my book, it says, hmm, a shadow is made when an something blocks light. Well, I'm going to need to figure out what word that is. A shadow is made when a shadow blocks light? No, shadows don't block light. Objects block light. So here is going to where here is where I am going to write the word object. Mrs. Clapp, I don't know how to write that word. Object. Object. The next page says, this is a, well, what is sticking out from behind the boy? You're right, a shadow. Right now it's faint. So I need to get my black crayon or my pencil and I need to color in this shadow to make it dark and be a dark shadow because we know that our bodies are opaque. All right. So then I would write the word shadow up here. Mrs. Clamp, I don't know how to write that word. Well, you've got a resource. Here's the word shadow right here. Shadow. So I can write that word right on this blank line. On the next page, it says, a shadow is smaller when the object is something from the light. Hmm. Well, is this object close to the light or is it far from the light? Hmm. When I look at it, what do I think? You're right. It looks pretty far. So I'm going to write the word far right here. Far. Think about our words that we had. Far. A-R makes that R sound. Far. Then I have a shadow is bigger when the object is well, if we did far up here, then this one has to be what? You're right, close. This one is close, close. And to help that O say its name, we're going to need that silent E on the end. So we have the word close. Close is going to go in that spot there. Then, the next page says, draw the tree's shadow. Well, now I'm going to have to really pay attention because where is the light? You're right. The light comes from the sun and the sun is over here. So if the sun is over here, we need to think about where the shadow would be. You're right. The shadow is going to be on this side of the tree. So I'm going to get my crayon and I'm going to draw my, whoops, 
get my crayon and draw my shadow. Sorry about that. Draw my shadow. The computer made it look opposite to me, so I had to fix it. All right. So now I drew my shadow. Go to the next one. Oh. Draw the tree's shadow. Now I can see the sun has moved in the sky, which means the shadow will have moved. Hmm. So now my shadow is going to be over here. Let me draw my shadow on there. All right. Now my shadow's in the right spot with the tree blocking the light. And then finally, draw the tree shadow. Hmm. Well, now the sun is right over the top of the tree. So where would the shadow be? You're right. It would be really small right here. Because remember, we talked about how when the light comes from directly above you, your shadow is really tiny. It's like right under your feet. Then your very last page says, draw a picture of you, the sun, and your shadow. So you get to choose where you draw yourself, where you might draw the sun, and where your shadow would be, remembering that your shadow is going to be on the opposite side of where the sun is. So if you draw yourself in the middle here and the sun over here, then your shadow needs to be over here. If you draw yourself here and the sun up here, then the shadow needs to be under you. If you draw yourself here and the shadow over here, then your shadow needs to be over here. All right, go ahead and finish up your shadow book. And if you don't remember those words, it's okay. I put them on the page for you to check out under this little video. All right, shadow book workers. Have good fun in filling out your shadow book.